Welcome to our lecture online and here's lesson number two in algebra. What we're going to do today is learn how to solve for a variable in an algebraic formula. So here are some examples. The area of a circle, the volume of a sphere, and the surface area of a sphere. And so what we're going to do in each case here is we're going to solve for the variable r. So we're going to solve for that variable here, variable r, and variable r. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, if the variable you're solving for is on the right side of the equal sign, you want to switch the equation around. You want to put the right side on the left side, the left side on the right side. When you do that for both, you don't have to change any signs. So the first thing you do here would be to write pi r squared on the left equals a on the right. The next thing, since we're solving for r, we now want to divide both sides of the equation here by the numerical coefficient, or it doesn't have to be numerical coefficient. It could be whatever coefficient numerical or variable coefficient of the variable we're solving for. So in this case, we're going to divide by pi, we're going to divide this by pi, notice on the left side the pi's disappear. Now we're left with r squared equals a over pi, and the next thing is since we want r not r squared, we're going to take the square root of both sides, so take the square root on the left side, take the square root on the right side, so we have r is equal to the square root of a over pi. All right. Next equation, the volume of the sphere. Same thing, the variable we're looking for is on the right side of the equal sign, so we're going to switch it over to the left side. So we have 4 thirds pi r cubed equals a. Now in this particular case, we have a fraction on the left side. So what we want to do here is divide both sides of the equation by the denominator on the left side. So we're going to multiply the left side by 3. We're going to multiply the right side by 3. That will cancel out the 3 on the left side on the right side, on the left side, we end up with 4 pi r squared equals 3a. Now we're going to do the same thing we did over here, divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient of the variable we're looking for, which is r. The coefficient in this case will be 4 pi, so divide the left side by 4 pi and divide the right side by 4 pi. Like so, the 4 pi's cancel out. Now we're left with r squared is equal to 3a divided by 4 pi. So, and now we can go ahead and take the square root of both sides. Square root of the left equals the square root of the right. That gives us r is equal to the square root of 3a divided by 4 pi. We could factor out the 1 over 4 because uh, it's, uh, the square root of 4 is 2, but we could just leave it like that for now. We're just simply solving for r. On our last equation here, the surface area of the sphere, again, we're looking for r. It's on the right side of the equation. We switch the equation around, put 4 pi r squared on the left side, and move the a to the right side. Next thing is, you divide both sides by the coefficient of r squared, so divide the left side by 4 pi, and divide the right side by 4 pi. On the left side, the 4 pi cancels out the 4 pi, and you end up with r squared equals a divided by 4 pi. And now, the next step, again, you want to get r, not r squared, so you take the square root of both sides, square root of the left side equals the square root of the right side, so you end up with r equals the square root of a over 4 pi. And there's some examples of how you solve for a variable inside a formula. So stay tuned if you want to see some more examples.